Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you some Cho'Gath mid lane. We went for the electrocute setup with mana flow and we have to start Q. Since it is a ranged champion against a lot of melees, you can start E. Your Q has half the cooldown level one of your W, so. Me and him both have electrocute, so I don't really want to stand too close to him. If I stand up close, I'm gonna have problems trying to proc it and then he's just gonna hit me with like his passive and two autos, so. I'm gonna have to sit back a bit. When he goes in for an auto attack, I can hit him with a Q. His auto animation looks really weird on that skin. It's kinda hard to figure out when he's actually autoing. Such a weird character model. This is L2, so we've got to sit back a little bit. We get our W now. Then we'll get our E. Against melee matchups, you want to get your E level 1, level 2. Since this guy's a range, it doesn't matter too much. We're going to be going Proto Belt into probably Hourglass. Or we could go Proto Belt into Cosmic Drive. We'll see. This is going to be a slow matchup. And that's exactly why I didn't push. Because Nunu is a cheesing gank monster. We're chilling. We're up in CS on him too. He's kind of overplaying his hand. Mm, that sucks. Bopped him with our electrocute, and we can heal back now. That was a really good trade for us. We're going to go for W max first. It gets way more stats per level than your Q does. Uh, that's fine. Oh, there's Nunu for the second time. That was 130 damage right there. I would really like to be able to hit a minion. Get some healing. They're playing really aggro. That's why he's missing so much CS. Nice job from the Lilia. I'm actually down to shove this. I want to set up a whole wave, hit it with a QW. The backline minions got caught up there a little bit. Okay, we missed cannon. That's wonderful. We're going to go ahead and reset top mid turret. Have a bunch of resistances pre-5. That was tragic. Can you make bets on this game? I don't think the mod's here to open it up. We're going to grab as much of this as we can. We'll even grab a Dark Soul. We're in a really good spot. We didn't actually burn anything to kill Soul there. Lily did most of the work. I'm going to have a Golden and XP lead on him with the CS. I do want to shove Wave to stop him from roaming, similar to what you do to a TF. It's not really possible, though, with the Nunu. You see how back our bot lane is? The only gankable lanes right now is me and Ryze. So if I don't see Nunu top... There's a really good chance that he's just like camping me some more like he's been doing this game. Got him with our silence. He's trying to hit me with his electrocute proc. You don't want to just throw out stray cues too much on Cho. That's how you miss them. Typically want to silence them or slow them first. Pull this back a little bit. I didn't actually see him roam there. He might have, though. Yo, Vodka John. Thank you for the tank of the subs, man. That's insane. Yeah, Soul just roamed. We got to shove this. We're going to queue the back line, and we're going to W this thing here in a second. Thank you so much, Vodka John. We nearly missed Cannon Minion. At least we got the wave shoved. John Meza, thank you for the Prime, man. Go ahead. I actually don't want to use my R. A lot of the times on Cho Top, you'll use your R. Because most of your matchups, people won't really allow you to kill them. Because they're a bit tankier. In this matchup, I think I could really surprise them. Easy money. I didn't even use my Q. 
a big issue with using your Q in a lot of your combos is it can end up flashing it. And to cast your Q, you have to stand still, which really sucks. For something that's so easy to dodge, having to sacrifice an auto attack or extra movement can really cost you. So if you don't need your Q, don't use it. It's a lot more useful if you're in a bush and if they don't know you're there or if you're just trying to shove waves. Luxborn Phoenix, thank you for the prime, dude. Welcome to the stream. We're going to go ahead and reset. He's been alive for like eight seconds. So we are going to be down like eight seconds of prio here. So we actually just want it back at this point. Mm. Let's get that and we'll grab. We're not going to be roaming. We're not going to be about roam him anyways. And we don't have TP. I don't think we'll need the boots. Cho'Gath already has solid base movement speed at 345. Faster than most champs. Like for example, Nunu's only 340. Rails 335. Soul's probably like 330 or 325. Something like that. That wasn't a very good Q. You want to send your Q more on the girth of the minions, not just a straight two ones in front. Got him. He needed a juke back into me. He might have been afraid that my W was up. Oh no. Alright. Viego really is a special kind of champion. He basically ends up getting three bonus abilities. Because when he steals your teammate, he gets to use three of their abilities, not their R. And then he just R's onto you with his R again and uses his three. So it kind of like turns him into a Jace or a Lease for a little bit. He is probably a little overtuned. Just a lot of people still don't really recognize how to play him. One cool thing about Viego, or I should say one really strong thing about him, is he can play top, mid, and jungle fairly well it, it gives you flashbacks to something like a set they're both melee ad champs they both don't have mana and uh yeah they, they're just they, they maul you to death set since then has been nerfed to where you can't do a whole lot you don't see him as much sets kind of like c tier at everything he does there's only so much he can do souls roaming bot even if he gets a kill or two not the end of the world He's abandoning his turret to do so. I'm going to hit him with a Q. Nice. 245 damage. We're going to max our E last as mid lane Cho'Gath. Maxing. Wait. Yeah, we're going to max our E last. Maxing our Q second. For the base damage. Especially in these ranged matchups. It's really challenging to actually hit him with your E's. I don't know why she's pinging it. Autumn. We've walked with him a little bit, even if we didn't hit him with a slow or a silence first. Since we walked with him, he juked himself to death and we just got closer and closer. Nice. I would avoid playing Cho'Gath into things like Yon or Yasuo. They're a little too slippery and they heal way too much. Cho'Gath plays a lot better into uh, immobile champions or... Uh, Champions that don't have an absurd amount of healing, one or the other. Wow, that did way more damage than I thought it would do. Cho'Gath in a lot of ways plays like fiddlesticks. It sounds funny to say, but when you're playing AP Cho, if you're in a bush and you land a Q, you're, it's a set, they're essentially dead. Very similar to a fiddlesticks in a bush who R's out. Hmm. You to zone and back off of me. I need to move away from my right side because Anunu is most likely going to ward this bush. Okay, Nunu is on my right side. We can see that now. My R is coming up here in a second. I'd like to hit him with a tipper E and then Q. You just wasted his stun. All right. I, I missed. <laughs> he read. He juked. He read out my Q. 
I'll pull this back a bit. It's probably awarded. We can freeze it on him. If we land one Q, he's dead. Or if we had flash, we could like flash E silence. Oh. I, I want to save my R. There's a big fight going on over here. Okay, I don't know what Soul's doing. I, I think I'm actually just gonna shove mid then. Soul's missing out on a lot of plates and a lot of CS. That's why I'm two levels up on him. Two levels is basically two kills worth of gold when you think about how much extra damage your abilities get per level. So we're still in a great spot. Like Even if he had four kills instead of one. Okay. He didn't stun me. He kind of panicked there. That will land my Q. I think we would have had him. I don't know where Nunu is. I can finally afford my... Okay, there he is. I, I just can't move. Damn. I shouldn't have ignited him. Oh. Oh, she has R. No, Lilia, you had it. Oh, wow. That actually burned him to death. I guess because she has full item. That's crazy. We'll take it. Now that we have our rocket belt, we can avoid a lot of CC and it also gets us on top of them to land our E slow so we can land our Q more successfully. We're going to be going in for, you don't have to go sword shoot since your R is a lot of true damage. They have a lot of mixed damage to where sword shoes still kind of makes sense. If they're one damage type, you would still, you'd want to go for like plated steel caps or merc treads since they're both, I'll just get sword shoes for my Q, W, and E. Shogath ultimate, a really big knockup. Like a no. Shogath ult. <laughs> what? No, Shogath ult's just single target, true damage. It's good for taking objectives. Does bonus damage to monsters. It's really good at killing champs, too. I'm gonna silence. We're gonna lay a ward right there on the broken turret. This will give us a lot of information on where he wants to go to. He probably thinks I'm going bot right now, so he's gonna like try to counter roam. If he stays mid, I can flank up behind him. We're gonna wanna silence him and then slow him if he walks into us, or just like hit him with the Q as he walks in. Mm, I don't know what he's doing. It's kind of just being a goose. Oh wow, that actually missed. That's incredible. Nunu's here, I gotta leave. Never mind, Nunu just left. I dude, I don't know where that guy's his hitbox is. It's like half of his hitbox doesn't count. He's a mystical champion. I suppose I could have flashed, but then he could possibly just flash or Nunu's gonna back him up. He's a goner. That was an insane amount of damage. Considering I'm a higher level with red buff. I'm a higher level with red buff with more items. He actually soloed me when he didn't even land his stun. That's kind of crazy. Like I, I'm pretty sure I missed my Q, but still. Viego's an insane champ, man. He's given me PTSD back when Riven used to be OP. Spell Dance, I'm down. Spell Dance is an artificial version of... I forget what it's called. Approach Velocity. It's actually really good. Gets you on top of them so you can press R. It's just a little too much damage. Ours almost up. We have a rocket belt ready. We can shove plane to dragon. What's the mana diff? The W costs way more mana than your Q. Good thing your passive gives you that all back. How did he know? He's sneaky. 
I knew I nearly had him. All I had to do was one more auto into R. I was really close. I'll go shove mid. Like I said, we'll play into dragon. Cannon needs a stubborn one. It's gonna actually gonna take some auto attacks. Saul's way out of position. Hopefully we can pick him down. Oh, here it is. Oh, baby. Got him. Nice, nice, nice. Lily is so fast. I think we got to back out here. We don't want to really stick around for this. He's going to R him. He silenced. Get him. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's so screwed. He's actually faster than me for some reason. He's dead. Oh, wow. He died somehow. It must have been a minion auto attack that followed him into the bush. I'll shove this real quick and then we'll back. Oh, man. My R is up. I really want to hit that with my R. You on Cho mid, like I said, Cho jungle and Cho top use their R's all the time on minions and monsters. Since Cho mid's more bursty, you typically save it. But since I was about to back, it would have been worth it. We have our cosmic drive now. We'll probably go for Zanya's next or for or for like Majaya's or something. Is Orn viable as a top laner? There was times where he was a really strong support, but they nerfed him down. There was times where he was a really strong jungle and they nerfed him down. Right now, he's only really usable top lane. As a jungler, it's like, eh. Ramus or Nunu would get you a lot more value. You can still probably win on him. He's just not gonna... Gotcha. <laughs> no, but notice the combo. We saved our Q till last. I hit him with my slow first on my E, silenced him, then Q'd. Because when you miss your Q, you don't have much left. Oh, shit. Whatcha? She's a goner. I'm getting big. Got six stacks. Rocket Bell is your essential item. The Everfrost one isn't terrible. Like, Everfrost isn't terrible on him. It's just not as good as Rocket Belt is. So it doesn't actually get you on top of them. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. Get him, right. All right, I greeted it out. I I don't know what Rel does. She just zoomed in and did some shenanigan. She did no damage, but she held me still for 10 years. Look, 18 damage, 46 damage. Like, she does nothing. <laughs> she's just, she's too sticky. Kind of reminds me of Zach. Awkward mobility with a lot of CC. All right, it's time to get the mesh, and then we'll grab stopwatch. Grabbing stopwatch before you actually have Zanya's finished is really strong because you can use it, finish Zanya's, and then immediately have it back up. So it's kind of like a two for one deal. Enough of Blair Tis. Thank you, man. Welcome to the stream, dude. How's my day been? It's been pretty good, punk drunkers, just chilling. Playing some Cho'Gath. He's essentially an AoE scaling version of Fizz. A lot less mobile, though. Got her flash. It's really good. Hmm. All I have to do is bush camp, and I think we got it. Cam, pog, cam, pog, cam, pog. Yo, a pog. Thank you for the 100 bits, man. Cam, indeed.
Got him. See, that's what I was talking about when I said Cho'Gath's like fiddlesticks. If you can bush camp, you can guarantee to land your Q. Bushes are your best friend on this guy. She's gonna fade back this way, I think. Get off of me. Get him, boys! Oh, shit. Diego's too balanced. He's so balanced that he just got incinerated by Rice. He has zero magic resist. If he had Merc Treads or Ma or something, he could probably 1v2 us. There's no word in that bush anymore. It's time to chill in bush. Dragon's up. They may push into that now. They might go for Rise as well since he's up. I'm kind of just sitting on the choke. Looks like they went and bought instead. Go ahead and R the minion. I want it back anyways. I'm missing way too much HP. We could even get a Warm Logs now. You got a nice face, bro. Oh, XD. baby. Thank you for the compliment, Apoc Luther. Thank you for the 100 bits. Mm, Alright, let's go Elixir. You don't need a lot more than two or three AP items on Cho'Gath. Like, it would be nice to get a Robidon. But you don't have to. You could always get like a Dead Man's or like a Warmog's if you want to. As long as you feel like you can still one-shot the enemy team's squishies, you don't really need more AP. And I think I can one-shot them. I gotta watch my spacing here. Oh, she's so low. That was awkward. I'm missing way too much HP. Oh, he's gone. He's out of here. He exploded. I don't think I can stay though. Rises on the split push. I think we just back here and sell that and pick up this and then we're good to go. Now, you don't typically need to heal cut on Shogath. If they have a tanky healer like Mundo or kind of Swain, you could justify the Oblivion Orb. Their team doesn't have that much healing like Viego does a lot at the same time. I have enough burst to get through squishies, so probably don't need it. You thought Kingsticks was dark skinned. I can be, kind of. If I actually get some sunlight, it's been... Well, I, I don't go outside much anymore. Plus, it's been, like, really bad weather, so... I haven't seen the sun in a while. I'm in way too deep. I wasn't paying attention to minimap at all. They could have just turned and killed me there. They probably figured my teammates were behind me, but they're not. They're over here. I think we would actually want to go for an Oracle Lens at this point. Since uh, we want a bush camp. Got him. We can Baron off that. Vigo's out in the middle of nowhere. He's so fast, it's insane. Whatcha! Not fast enough. He got bonked. Bop with the W. My R's up here in 10 seconds. Just ride this. Hopefully I get to R the Baron. My R does 1400 true damage to monsters. About 900 to champs. Got it. It's another permanent stack. There's no reason for us to stick around since our ult's down. Without your ult, at this point in the game, when people have two or three items, you can't one-shot people without it. Gets kind of sketchy. Cho'Gath ult is better than Smite. It's a lot better than Smite in the mid-late game. Similar to a Ziggs ult. If you've ever seen how much damage Ziggs ult does in the middle, very comparable to that. 
Except my ult infinitely scales and Ziggs doesn't. Is Cho viable in the jungle? He is. I'd say he's more viable than something like a Trundle jungle. It's not saying much. <laughs> I still enjoy playing Cho jungle, whether it's Predator or Omni Stone. Where are they? Ult's 38 second cooldown. I can still use it a lot on minions and monsters, so I'll go ahead and just grab some more perma stacks. Oh, there he is. I think we can kill him without. Got him. I needed Ignite without my R. Let's grab a minion wave. We can get all of our HP back. Oh, shit. That wasn't fun. Mm. At this point in the game, just don't get caught out. Because when you get caught out, you can't get away. Your hitbox is so big, they don't even have to aim their skill shots. They can just press it anywhere on the screen and it'll hit you. So watch your spacing. We've got another perma stack. Our ult is nearly doing 1200 true damage. If Once we get Robin on, it'll be doing like 15, 1600 true damage. Our Q is doing nearly 800 damage. Our W is doing 600. So that's about 14 plus 1200 true damage. And our Electrocute, of course. Electrocute is a nice little combo. Thoughts on Omnistone, Soraka, Jungle? Never tried it. I feel like Omnistone, Soraka could work. However, Glacial Augment synergizes so well with her Qs that if when I play Soraka mid or top, I generally have better success on Glacial Augment. Wow. <laughs> wow! We're too big for that. They're trying to pull out these weak boy moves. And we're about as thick as it gets right now. If they're going to take me down, they need Zaya. They need a proper shredder to just auto me nonstop. My R is up. We could probably just end, push down the turrets. The cooldowns are really low late game for Cho'Gath. Just like four or five seconds on that, three seconds on his E. That didn't kill him, wow. Rocket Belt did a lot less damage than I anticipated there. I want this stack. Bring it to me, boys. No! Yeah, okay, wow. I got teased. Absolute tease. Can you think of a jungler that uses ever frost if no <laughs> maybe an off meta jungler like morgana or zyra and even then ever frost is typically used by highly defensive champions like vagar he's one of the few that comes to mind who takes it and even then vagar has like other item options like ludens ever frost it seems really op but it's usually not necessary it definitely looks decent. It's visually stimulating. What I think about the jungle nerfs, I think it's unfortunate. It's not going to affect the jungle meta too much. It's mainly just going to make it to where... In my opinion, it's just going to make it to where it's more important. It's even that more important to pick a meta jungler since like across the board, every jungler got nerfed by it. So if you want to be able to 1v1 people, it's that much more important to be a meta jungle champ. All right, here he is. That kind of sucked. He did so much damage, and it's also because of the Sterics. The Sterics made him insanely tanky. I got a back. I would like to get Robodons before this game ends. You don't really need Voice Staff on Cho'Gath for the same reason why you don't have to go Sork Shoes. Your true damage. Magic Pen does not amplify your true damage. I can't afford what I want to get. 
guess I'll just grab a needlessly large rod and get back out there. Probably wrap this up. I'll grab a pot as well. One of the OPG reviews, we'll do that at the end of stream. You can't play jungle this patch. Nerfs suck. Struggling to get your first item. Uh, try to leech more minions from your teammates. If you have a like, successful gank, don't forget to leech minions. It's very important to make up for the XP and gold that you're missing out on. It's more important than ever right now. Yeah, the first item, Power Spike. That's Junglers don't even have their cheap jungle items like they used to. They have to buy the expensive full items like everyone else. Got him. I like how Cho'Gath just pops them up and then dunks them. So it's a beautiful thing to see. For a champion that's essentially unchanged since his release, he's pretty decent. I got... Wow. That's so much damage. <laughs> What is that? It says his look. It says his item did six fifty nine alone. I assume that's the Bork. So I only took one hundred forty three true damage from him. His item alone did more damage than any of his spells. Think about that. An item gives higher value than your own spells. That. Wow, that's it. That's incredible. If that number is correct, okay, it's one forty three. I guess it's two items. The Kraken gave 143, it says, and then I assume the 446 is from the Blade of the Rune King. So I guess technically, separately, they didn't do as much as his uh, basic attacks did. What a champ. Nearly a 4 dollar Robin. We're still a little bit off. Let's get this dragon. Instagram question mark. I don't really use it because I don't really go anywhere. I just have one, but I don't have anything posted on it. So every jungle should tax laners, essentially. Don't go crazy with it. Like, don't try to take all of their minions. But you, you kind of need to now, just to match what jungler's used to. Flash. This is Dragon Soul for us. Leave the ward there. Nope. I'm hiding, they can't see me by the way. Dead ass, they can't see me because I'm behind that little sliver of the wall. Got him. Vigo's such a disgusting champ, dude. That damage is... <laughs> It's it's really something else. That sucks. I don't even know if I can one shot him. Even if I land everything, there's a good chance that I can't. Mm, never mind, we got him boys. We put that little twink in his place. <laughs> Very nice. Do sports have a lower cooldown on flash. Mm. I think I think you're thinking of a rune. I don't think support items give them lower cooldowns. I think you're thinking of cosmic insight. What's a twink? Uh, look it up. It's whenever League of Legends makes a new champion and it's like... It looks very... Pres <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to get into it. It's kind of League of Legends style on their newer champs. Like how they made Seraphine. It's basically Belle Delphine. And then they made Viego who's got like the world's longest torso type of thing why do you need a long torso when you can do this dude tell me that 
Cho'Gath has the thickest torso in a. Our ultimate's up. Just gotta be patient. Not dive them under turrets and let V go get his resets. It's kind of like an AD auto attack Katarina who still has lots of AoE. No low cooldowns with no mana costs. Got him. Easy money, baby. Woo! Rocket belt into hourglass. Well played, guys. Well played. I'll show my damage chart on this one. I think our damage is going to be quite insane. 22 kills, 20 stack Cho'Gath. If you guys enjoyed this Cho'Gath gameplay, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Let's